Good morning, and welcome to St. John the Baptist Cathedral Basilica Parish. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. At this time, we ask if you could take a moment to make sure your phones are silenced. Our presider this morning is Father Cecil Critch, and our opening hymn is found in the Catholic Book of Worship on page 531, For the Beauty of the Earth, number 531. Please stand. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we gather today to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we ask the Lord to come into our hearts to forgive us our sin. we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those who you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Colossians. From Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and from Timothy, our brother. To the saints and faithful brothers and sisters in Christ in Colossae, grace to you and peace from God, our Father. 
In our prayers for you, we always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. For we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints because of the hope laid up for you in heaven. You have heard of this hope before in the word of the truth, the gospel that has come to you. Just as the gospel is bearing fruit and growing in the whole world, so it has been bearing fruit among yourselves from the day you heard it and truly comprehended the grace of God. This you learned from Epaphras, our beloved fellow servant. He is a faithful minister of Christ on your behalf, and he has made known to us your love in the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. The response to Psalm 16, protect me, O God, for in you I take refuge. Lord be with you. With your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered Simon's house. Now Simon's mother-in-law was suffering from a high fever, and they asked him about her. Then he stood over her and rebuked the fever, and it left her. Immediately she got up and began to serve them. As the sun was setting, all those who had any who were sick with various kinds of the diseases brought them to him. And he laid his hands on each of them and cured them. Demons also came out of many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and would not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Messiah. At daybreak he departed and went into a deserted place. And the crowds were looking for him, and when they reached him, they wanted to prevent him from leaving them. But Jesus said to them, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other cities also for I was sent for this purpose. So Jesus continued proclaiming the message in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. In the reading, first reading today, we begin the reading from Colossians and Paul compliments the people of Colossae in Greece, the Colossians for their great faith in God and the love for their neighbor. And Paul is happy that the gospel is bearing great fruit there in that small uh, Christian community. The Colossians, they were successful in working to build the kingdom of God. From today's gospel reading, we can see the pattern of work and prayer in Jesus' life. After a busy day and evening in Capernaum healing the sick, including Peter's mother-in-law, he got up early in the morning and went, made his way to a lonely place to pray, as he would often do. Jesus was constantly with people, especially the broken in body, mind, and spirit, but he also needed to be alone with God the Father in prayer. Jesus must have been aware that his prayerful communion with God was the source of his ministry to the sick and the needy. That was where he got his energy for his ministry. It seems that people were more appreciative of his healing ministry than of his prayer because when he was praying alone, they went out looking for him, and that happened many times. And when they found him, they wanted to prevent him from leaving them, to stay in our city, be our healer. Yes, Jesus knew how important his time of prayer was. It was his prayerful communion with the Father that he would discern what path he had to take. After his prayer, he was very clear that he had an urgency in his mission. He had to leave the city of Capernaum, go to the other towns or cities, in spite of the pressure of him to stay. He said, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other cities also. The lesson is that prayer in our own lives can help us to better discern the will of God for us, what purpose God has for us in our life. In our own culture, in our own lives, prayer can easily fall down the list of priorities in our lives. There's so many distractions and voices that compete for our attention. Our communion with the Lord in prayer is crucial as it gives the Lord Jesus space to guide and direct us in in his way. Our prayers of intercession today. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and our Bishop Peter, and those who lead and guide our church and shepherd our church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, We pray for all the students and uh, teachers in our schools as they begin a school for a safe school year, also for a very successful one. We pray to the Lord. For peace in our world, especially in the Middle East, in parts of Africa, and in the, certainly in Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for the success of the upcoming uh, Synod of Bishops in Rome in October, for we pray to the Lord. Lord for all the sick recommended to our prayers, and I recommend to your prayers today, a young little boy, he's 12 years old, and he's having surgery for a brain tumor this morning. So that we, I want all the people in the rosary and adoration to pray for Hunter Kiley. His name is Hunter. So very young boy, having a difficult time. We pray for his healing. We pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, we pray for Father John Hanton and Kathleen Hanton and Father Pat Power and his parents, his family members. We pray to the Lord. And for your own intentions in the quiet of your heart, your own intention today. We pray.
pray to the Lord. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the graces and blessings you give us every day. And we make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, we become to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us pray. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks father most holy through your beloved son jesus christ your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our savior and redeemer incarnate by the holy spirit and born of the virgin mary fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest a resurrection so with all the angels and saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he. fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate. 
celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, O Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs with them to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Share the peace of Christ now with one another. him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say, only the, say word, the word, and my soul, soul shall be healed. For the reception of Holy Communion, we ask that people begin from the side sections to come to Communion first. We encourage you to sanitize your hands before receiving Holy Communion. If you are unable to receive Holy Communion, you are welcome to come forward to receive a blessing.
Our communion hymn is found in Celebrate in Song, number 6.1, Bread for the World. Bread for the world, a world of hunger, wine for all peoples, people who thirst. May we who eat be bread for others. May we who drink pour out our Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of our Son, your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless all of us, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Have a good day. Our missioning hymn is number 582 in the Catholic Book of Worship, Praise the One Who Breaks the Darkness, 582. <laughs> 